What up guys, it's Vico Kang here. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to split test your irresistible offer, your lead magnet, your headline, your email subject line, whatever it is you wanna do um, that you wanna split test using GoHiroWorks platform. I'm very excited about this cause it's relatively a new feature and this is gonna be really, really good for media buyer, copywriter, or just any marketer in general that know the value of A-B split test because Simply as a marketer, we just don't know. We don't know anything will work unless we split test it and let the market tell us by data, right? So let's go ahead and actually show you how to do that. One way to do it is through funnel. Um, we actually do this by ourselves. Um, it's really easy to, uh, to, to actually set it up. We're gonna go through that later on in the video, but just wanna show you the component here is that uh, we normally derive traffic, uh, you know, split test the traffic 50-50. So, then uh, it's, it's, uh, it's not a variable. Um, the only thing that we do in the other funnel is just change the headline and simply by just remove or adding one or two words. All right, we don't do it. And you can see here, um, you know, that is our result right now, um, but we're just gonna leave it on for a while. And um, for email, we actually do a similar thing and you, you know, you can see which headline will better, uh, which headline work better and which, uh, which lead magnet uh, resonate with people better by just setting it up in email. And the best thing here is that if you already a go Hollywood user, there's nothing else that you have to pay extra for. Um, I believe this funnel function is only available for SaaS or even 297 up. Um, I have to check that for you. Um, but this is definitely not available at 97. So if you want to upgrade, uh, to be able to use the funnel feature, make sure that you check out the link in the description, but let's go ahead and set it up, right? We're gonna start off with the funnel, right? We'll just go to the funnel first, because funnel. Uh, we're gonna start off with the funnel. Um, we're gonna pick my website funnel here, really just any existing uh, funnel that you have that clearly didn't work. <laughs> All right, guys, let's start off by showing you how to do it through funnel. We're gonna pick one of our funnel here. Um, you know, I normally like to split test the the opt-in page or like the top of the funnel, if you want to call it. Um, the bottom of the funnel really doesn't make any much difference here. So one thing that you need to make sure is that you make you need to make sure that your funnel have a domain attached to it, right? Your funnel has to have a domain attached to it. Otherwise, this won't work. Um, one of the example here, I can't really show you any example, but let, let's say if you go into like this funnel, uh, with no domain attached to it, you can see here, and then you try to do it, you can see here, please attach a domain. So um, the reason why need your domain is, is auto-generate a pathway for uh, for your funnel. So uh, we are, I like to pick duplicate control. So we want to have every, everything the same, but just have the headline different. That's how you split test like, you know, um, different headline, different word, or even like if you're doing a book launch, uh, you can split test um, title for the book as well, right? And um, and I normally come in and edit this one here, and um, yeah, pretty much you just have to go in and edit the funnel however you want to do it. Obviously, we only want to do it on the headline. We only split test on the headline because that's like the eighty twenty. Like that's headline is literally eighty percent of the thing, right? So we can just like take away that. Literally, you don't have to add anything as long as it's different. Um, it do the work, right? So, and then you save it and then you just go back here. All right, so once you have like the variable, right? The variation done, all you have to do is click split test and it's gonna ask you for traffic. So you can do 70, 30, 60, 40 or 50, 50. I just like to do 50, 50 and then there you go. Like every, if you're running add to it, the traffic's gonna be split 50-50, but if you don't run any, any add to it. And if you want to declare it as winner, so if you wanna stop, right, you either go hover into this one and declare it as winner, or hover into this one and declare it as winner. So I'm just gonna keep my original and de I, de I declare the original as the winner. And what it do is it track a log, right? It have a, a log here, like more like a, a history onto, onto like what you actually done with this funnel. Right, so let's go ahead and move on to my, um, let's just go take take this account for example. Let's go ahead and move on to um, the workflow because the funnel is one way that you can split test using high level, 
but the uh, the email is actually quite important as well, right? We actually use this and we actually open the stat, we get to see what email land better using what word and what content, right? So if you have a big email list, this is exactly for you. So you want to go into your email sequence, something that looked like this, right? Have email and have wait time. You want to type in an action called split, right? And with the split action, same thing, right? You can um, have path A, path B, you can have many paths, but I do not recommend that. Um, I would recommend split testing two to three variable at a time. Um, again, you can do 50-50 or 70-30, and then you want to save action. And then you can add your actual email in there. And then you can, yeah, you can add, sorry, not voicemail. Um, you can add the email in here, right? Same thing will work. Um, email, and then you can add your title and your subject line. Just going to go test, test, save. And then I can go copy here. You can do it like that. And then once you add people to this workflow, or people naturally come from, uh, you know, paid traffics that get opt into this workflow automatically, it's just going to split test for you in terms of email. And I'll obviously turn on the stats for that to see the open rate. Um, yeah, look, this is the most easiest way. <laughs> it takes like two minutes to set up and it costs you absolutely nothing if you have a high level account already. So make sure that you do that to actually maximize the, the amount of conversion that you have by knowing which word, which lead magnet or which uh, title resonate more to your audience. Anyway, it's gonna be a short video. If you like more video like this, raw video with no editing, uh, make sure that you like and uh, comment below and I'll uh, keep doing this, okay? Thanks, bye. Hey guys, if you enjoy watching the video, make sure that you're also checking out this content right there.